G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, Friday afternoon here in Australia, market's up ever so slightly, still under the $3 trillion mark, but 29 will do. And up 1.1% uh, overall, and we'll take a gain over a loss any day. All right, Bitcoin dominance down a little bit, not a lot of volume again, but you know, that's uh, kind of to be expected. People are a little bit scared in the market at the moment, so... Uh, hence why it's kind of traveling sideways. Uh, Bitcoin price just under 65,000. So we've had a nice recovery, but look, it's not all that great a recovery considering we were up around $69,000. Uh, ETH gas prices are super high at the moment. Very, very expensive. All right. So we can see it's a bit of a mixed bag. I mean, again, the market is up 1.1%. So we got some green there, but we got some reds as well. So what's performed the best in the last 24 hours? Top 100. There we can see Uma's done quite well, nearly 30% there. Mana, 21%. Algorand, 13%, nearly 14%. Sandbox, Mina Protocol, Chili, Zcash. So we got lots of nice uh, movers. And Engine, and again, a lot of these coins, these are literally coins that were down 24, 48 hours ago. That's what we need to remember. Uh, you know, we're still in a bull market personal opinion i can I can never offer financial advice but you look at the charts and tell me how you don't think we're in a bull market things won't go up every single day there's going to be you know if it goes up for say seven days straight it'll probably go down for four or five days straight before it starts to make its way back up that's what you got to remember so again these things that are all up today probably be down tomorrow or the day after that's just the way it works but look when you're getting double digit gains, things are good. And for me, it's anything above 15% in 24 hours. That is a really good gain. Don't get me wrong, I'll take any gain over a loss any day. But this is the crypto markets. Uh, and in a bull market, it's that 15 plus percent in 24 hours that I call really good gains. So again, things looking nice. And again, a lot of these coins, specifically like Engine, Chili's, uh, I think even Mana, again, a lot of the metaverse uh, nft kind of plays gaming things like that they were down just the other day but it wasn't the end for them they're straight back up now that they've had a little bit of a cool off that's the way they that's the way markets work all markets are the same nothing ever just keeps going up forever there's always you know elements of it going up and then elements of it going down but good projects overall in the long run continue to go up all right, so we can see the green that's nice what about the red though what hasn't performed so well in the last 24 hours all right, again, these are coins that were literally pumping just yesterday. Loop Ring, uh, IOTX, uh, hopefully I said that right. I'm pretty sure I spelled it out right. Uh, OMG Network. But look, the losses are fairly small. There's not really a whole lot of losses. You know, the IOTX one, that hurts a bit, but that had a crazy pump literally just the other day. And same with Loop Ring, that was pumping really, really hard over the last few days. So... Again, these coins will cool off for a couple of days and then most likely they'll be pumping within the next few days provided we keep uh, on this bullish trend. And again, my personal opinion is we're in a bull market. I don't think we're ever out of a bull market since uh, 2000, since March 2020. We've had a, a correction, a hefty correction uh, from sort of, uh, what was it, about April to March or something, April to June. Uh, and since then, we've just been starting to make our way back up but as I've said before, I am now starting to wonder, was that the new bear market that we went through? I don't quite think it is, but I mean, a couple of months of downside, uh, that is, yeah, actually, that's not unheard of. That's, yeah, that's definitely happened before in the cryptocurrency markets. So no, it probably isn't. But again, we'll have to wait and see if we're in that hyper uh, parabolic Bitcoin, uh, hyper Bitcoinization is what they call it. Maybe that is the new bear market for, you know, the next little while until whenever that ends all right let's have a look at the bitcoin chart there we go got up to almost we're just pipping that sixty nine thousand dollar mark and then we came all the way down to sixty two thousand nine hundred and fifty six uh, and then we had a bit of an indecision candle and look we've got another bit of an indecision candle at the moment but this is early in the day uh, so this candle can change quite easily and again it could be to the upside or to the downside but what we need to remember is this is the CME gap and this is a buy zone. Again, never financial advice, just my personal opinion. If you want to set in a buy order for Bitcoin at the moment, I think a good place would be anywhere around 62,000. 
865 all the way down to 61,000 sort of 500 now I don't know if you'll get the 61,500 a good idea is to pick you know maybe around about sort of halfway in there uh, again maybe even more to the higher side but I definitely think somewhere around kind of the 62,800 ish level is a pretty good buy point uh, and so and if you can get it anywhere in there you know you can layer your buys you know again 62,890 something as we saw before 62,810 62,600 you know 62,200 and all the way down and if you get a wick down there hopefully it'll pick those up for some nice prices because I get the feeling like this will probably be covered over this weekend but again we'll have to wait and see they don't always get covered uh, and I showed the other day there are some other ones that haven't been uh, covered yet either all right people have been sleeping on a number of DeFi things now particularly the ethereum DeFi. they've been really really quiet for a while things like Aave, uniswap and things like that you know terra luna's been doing well um avalanche has been doing well although avalanche isn't just uh, DeFi and things like that but DeFi is a sector that has been very very quiet for a while and that's what i want to focus on because what you're trying to do if you want to you know you want to be ahead of the market you don't want to be following the market and DeFi has been very very quiet for quite some time now you haven't heard a whole lot about it and once we get to the charts you'll see what i mean it's basically been traveling sideways a big lot of accumulation and i just get the feeling at some stage it's going to get ready to pop things like chain link i mean that was in the 20 dollars range for ages it's had some moves don't get me wrong but it hasn't done anything crazy and i just think DeFi is where the money is going to move to next so it was DeFi last year then it moved into layer ones and then since the layer ones have quietened up well then it moved into after DeFi was nfts then it moved into layer ones uh, recently it's moved into the metaverse kind of space things like that against sandbox uh, mana engine all those kind of coins they were pumping really really hard but DeFi has been quiet for so long and I just get the feeling like DeFi is getting ready to make some big moves what we need to remember is even though it's been a little bit quiet the whole total value locked in DeFi has been moving up now uh, DeFi pulse they only really focus on the ethereum based DeFi so there's still plenty of other DeFi uh, that you need to consider as well on other chains but have a look at it. it's just been slowly moving up of course you always have corrections that was that big one uh, in May again you know fell right off and again you have a little one here but look at this I mean that was a big one but that's a v-shaped recovery that is very very interesting that had this kind of flash crash almost and then a very quick recovery I wonder if that shows up on the 30 day yeah there we can see look at that so it was that November 9th to November 12th I mean big massive sell-off but also look what happened bang straight back up so that is very very interesting there's some kind of manipulation going on there and that was literally just in the last few days the total DVL uh, TVL sorry total value locked I mean it just plummeted big time and then got bought back up straight away so yeah my gut feeling is something big is coming in DeFi very very soon let's go have a look at the charts see what's been happening we can see Uniswap so originally it came out it had its big sell-off and then it uh, kind of you know just played around in the three dollar range for a while and then it just went on its massive sort of run and I mean got all the way up to forty three dollars then it basically fell down to a low of what was that about fifteen dollars thereabouts a little bit uh, lower $14.51 but really it's been traveling sideways since February this year it's got up higher it's got down lower but just have a look at that sideways 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 for months and months and months and months and months we are now in the 11th month it's been traveling sideways since February that is basically all year I get the feeling like some big moves are going to come from Uniswap. Now, this is just against the dollar. You can't just base it off one thing. How's it performed against Ethereum? This is even more interesting. This is the bottom. Basically, when Uniswap gets down to around this level, it is at its bottom. Now, it has wicked down lower, so it's not to say that it can't go lower, and maybe 
you know, people get off Uniswap and all of a sudden it sets in a new low. But down here is basically the best time to buy it against Ethereum because look at when it pumps up and now look where it is. So this little yellow line, it's just a little bit of a, a the dotted line. This is just a key indicator for me. Hey, this is a time I should probably start looking at it. Not necessarily buy it, but definitely start looking at it. Then this yellow line down here is this is basically my sort of, you know, you really need to start considering buying some now or at least keeping a very hard eye onto it because look at where it's going now. Now again, this could be just people have had enough of Uniswap and moving on. That's a definite possibility. I don't think that's what's going on at all because their volume is still so high. The gas fees are really hurting uh, people trying to use it and things like that. But if, you know, Ethereum 2.0, it's hopefully not too far away and in the future we won't have those kind of issues but this just looks super juicy at the moment i haven't been dollar cost averaging into anything for a couple of weeks now but i am starting to look at some of these DeFi projects and i think i'm going to have to start allocating some money just small bits and pieces not too much but again this is just one chart so against the dollar big accumulation it's just been traveling sideways for basically the entire year Against Ethereum, it is now almost down at its basically absolute bottom. So this is a great uh, buy sort of range. And again, never financial advice, but the the risk is yeah, it could go to here. So you could lose a little bit there. But what is the upside? Way up. And that is based on it not setting a new all-time high. What about against Bitcoin? Something very, very similar. It has got a bit of a base down here. Now, again, this is the low. It may never get back to here. It could set a new low. But look where it is. It's getting very close to a point of support and resistance. And again, the volatility is just getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's not to say that this can't come down lower. It absolutely can. But again, you've just got to look at it compared to the dollar chart, traveling sideways for ages. The Ethereum chart, it's almost down at its absolute bargain basement sort of price compared to Ethereum. And now look, it's just getting, the volatility is very, very small and it's getting close to a key level. So for me, Uniswap is looking like a good buy. What about Aave? Something similar again. Aave has been traveling sideways again since February this year against the dollar. It's, you know, gone up and it's gone down a little bit, but really traveling sideways for months basically almost all this year it's been in a sideways motion versus the dollar what about against ethereum how's it traveling look at this very similar to uniswap now all of a sudden Aave is down at its basic bargain basement price at the moment compared to ethereum now again never financial advice but at the moment i am thinking Aave, Aave, Aave is looking like a great deal at the moment. So I'm strongly considering getting some Aave. Now again, never financial advice, you gotta do you. But what I'm seeing is a pattern and it's not just in one coin and not just on one chart, it's multiple coins in the space in DeFi across multiple charts versus the dollar, versus Ethereum, versus Bitcoin. All right, so let's have a look at Aave against Bitcoin, something similar again. It's now down below a sort of key support level and its volatility is getting quite small though again this could definitely come down lower it's quite possible it comes down to here maybe even it's got to come down to here i don't know but i'm comparing it against all the other charts and just at the moment some of the DeFi plays are looking quite nice let's have a look at link very similar thing this is against the dollar this is the average mean line where it's been trending on occasions it goes above on occasions it goes below, it rarely ever goes below, but it has been below for quite some time and now it's sitting right on the mean. So that is against the dollar. So at the moment it looks like it's a fair value price. And again, you can move these lines around a little bit. This isn't an exact sort of science. This is just a rough you know, trend to show. What about against Ethereum? Hello, look at this, bouncing round on this key support resistance level. So the risk is it absolutely could come down to here. Maybe Ethereum's going to get on a run and it's not going to do anything. But the risk is maybe we go down to here and look again, possibly down to here. But this is really kind of bear market stuff down here. I don't believe we're anywhere near a bear market just yet. So the risk really for me as I look at Chainlink and go, yep, it could, it could come down further. 
but just look at the volatility it's so small it's tiny tiny volatility the upside is massive so risk to reward at the moment the risk is pretty small the reward is pretty big all right let's go link against bitcoin see if we're seeing something similar to the other part uh, excuse me the other charts we are again it's came down bounced off a bottom here nicely come up and it's sitting on an old line of support and resistance so again looking quite nice synthetics a lot of people have been scared off it i understand but traveling sideways against the dollar for quite some time it pumped up above dropped down below but look at this sideways 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 around that ten dollar range very very interesting let's have a look at it against ethereum something very similar all right come down look we are in the buy zone basically anywhere below this is generally again never financial advice i gotta say that every single time for me this is where i know okay i seriously need to start looking at it now i'm not telling anyone to run out and buy synthetics there's still the possibility of regulatory uh, issues and all the rest of it uh, regulation cracking down hard on them but i just i've been in synthetics for so long i really like staking i like all the airdrops that i've got through synthetics so i'm sticking with them through thick and thin and i haven't put in that much that if it did go to zero i'd go broke and in saying that if i put in more i just wouldn't throw the kitchen sink at it but this is starting to get in my buy zone so the risk is yes it absolutely could come down here that's totally possible i'm not throwing the kitchen sink at it but the reward is getting back up here and again this is just getting back to near old all-time highs against ethereum let alone maybe it sets new ones so the reward is massive and last but not least against bitcoin again it's fallen down below but again it's still sitting around a kind of key support so risk to reward again risk absolutely could come down to here maybe bitcoin's going to get on a run and ethereum go on a run and nothing happens but it's across all of these charts they're all looking very very similar they're getting very quiet they're coming down to sort of key levels they're getting into my kind of buy zone areas where i strongly need to start looking at them and DeFi overall has been pretty quiet on the ethereum side you know there's been some you know terra luna is the best example i mean that's just been on fire and been doing extremely well i get the feeling like the DeFi space though in general not just the ethereum part is just gearing up and getting ready to make another big move all right that's it from me stay safe be kind to one another hopefully you're all on that game train and i'll see you next time